this video, we're going to be talking about the triangle angles bisector theorem. And this theorem tells us that if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So we see in this example over here, I have triangle ABC. I see that CD is bisecting my angle C, and I know that because of these arc marks here, meaning that these two angles on either side are congruent. And so when this happens, we have that this length AD over DB, so the side that is being intersected with that line, is going to be equal to those other two side lengths as a fraction. So the important thing to note here is making sure that you have the correct segment in the correct spot for your proportion. And so you'll notice that this AD over AD and CA, they're both coming from this left triangle. And those are going to be the ones that are on top. And then we have that db and cb are both coming from the right triangle in the first fraction it's going to be all of those that are on that same side length that's being intersected and then the other is going to be those other two sides so let's try a couple of examples so in the diagram, angle QPR is congruent to angle RPS, so I see that this line is indeed bisecting angle P, so I have that first part of the theorem, that ray is bisecting the angle of a triangle, and I'll use the given side lengths to find the length of RS, so I'm going to find X. So here we see something a little bit different, I see that RS is X. And instead of giving us a length of QR like we need, as we can see from here, I need the length of that other part of the side length. It tells us that the whole side is 15. So thinking about it, if RS is X, the whole thing is 15, that would mean that the length of QR is 15 minus X. Because if you think about it, if x was 8, for instance, I would know to find qr by doing 15 minus 8 to be 7. But since we don't know it, it's just x, so qr is 15 minus x. And so now I can go ahead and set my portion. So I know that from this theorem that the side that is being intersected, that's going to go on top of each other for a fraction. So I have QR over RS is equal to. And now I know that these, the next one that has to be on top has to be coming from the same triangle. So the same triangle with QR is going to be PQ. So I have PQ over and again the same one with rs is ps and now i can go ahead and substitute in my value so qr is 15 minus x rs is x pq is 7 ps is 13. I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply, and so I have 15 minus x times 13, so I'm just going to write that as that, put parentheses around my 15 minus x, and then I have x times 7, which is equal to 7x. Distribute my 13, so 13 times 15, I get 195. 13 times negative x, I get 13x. 
at 13x to both sides. So 195 is equal to 20x. And then when I divide both sides by 20, I get that x is equal to 9.75. And this question is asking me to find the length of rs, which is x. So that means that rs is equal to 9.75. Okay, let's try one last one. So here I just want to find the value of x. So I see that I have a line and it is bisecting this angle V. And I know that because of these arcs that are here indicating that these two angles are congruent. So I know I can set up my proportion. So I'm going to have my left fraction be the side that is being intersected by that line. So I'm going to have ST over TU. And now the side that goes on top over here needs to be the one that matches with ST. And so that is coming from the same triangle. So that's going to be SV over VU. ST is 14. TU is X. SV is 24 and VU is 48. And now that I have my proportion, I go ahead and cross multiply. So X times 24, I get 24X. It's equal to 14 times 48, which is equal to 672. And then I can divide both sides by 24. And I get that X is equal to 28.